In this video, I'm going to show you how to get to Inbox Zero by using Google Tasks. Google Tasks allows you to create tasks or convert emails into tasks. This allows you to approach email as a completable checklist rather than as an insurmountable mountain of communication. To get started, let's click here. If we click here, we can see that we can create as many lists as we need in order to stay logically organized. Let me show you how I use Google Tasks to stay organized and productive. The first thing to note is that it provides you with a My Tasks list that cannot be deleted. You could put all of your tasks in this one list, but I recommend creating individual lists so that organization is more logical and intuitive. Let's start with learning how to create a task. In my case, I want to set up a reminder that there is a weekly PLC meeting on Tuesdays. So I'll click My Tasks and go down to the PLC list. I don't have one, so I'll click Create New List and just type in PLC. From there, I'll click Add a Task, type in Weekly Meeting, And then we'll say Tuesdays, we'll set the time as 1.30 p.m. and it will repeat every week. We'll click OK and then go back. Another very effective feature of Google Tasks is converting an email into a task that can be checked off. To start, I just got an email about a student submitting an assignment, which I need to grade. So I'll go ahead and change the list from PLC to grade. So I'll click here. And then I'll click the checkbox next to the appropriate email. And then click more. And then click add to tasks. Notice that the task has the native email attached. So if I click on it, it opens the email. This is great news because it means you can archive this email, meaning your email is only in your checklist and not your inbox. So if we click here and then here, our email has been safely archived. This feature is extremely useful because it allows your inbox to be decluttered while alerting you over here that this email still needs to be dealt with. You can also convert multiple emails into individual tasks. For instance, I need to take care of a couple of grades, so I'll just select the checkboxes next to the appropriate emails, click More, and then click Add to Tasks. Then, if I click here, Gmail will safely archive those emails. Finally, Let's see how quickly I can get to inbox zero by converting these two emails into tasks. Since the top email has to do with special education, I'll change our list from grade to 504 slash sped, click the checkbox, click more, and then add to tasks. Then we'll simply archive it. Since this last email has to do with social studies, I'll change my list to Social Studies, click here, More, Add to Tasks, and then Archive. Now, instead of slogging through endless emails, we go from list to list, checking off tasks in a logical and intuitive manner. As you can see, Google Tasks is an effective tool to help you practically manage your inbox on a daily basis.